You ready to do a little NFL Week 1 recap? Yeah. All right. Uh, I've got three questions from Week 1. We're not going to go over every game. We're not doing you know what we do with college football because uh, the college football landscape is much more vast. I'm going to ask three questions. The first one, uh, what did you think the best game of the weekend was? Woo! I got two Man, I'm probably. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I think it started and I think it ended with the best two games. That's exactly what I wrote down. Uh, Bucks 31, Cowboys 29, or Raiders 33, Ravens 27 in overtime. I, I think those yeah. two are, are where you're starting in, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think I think the season kicked off with a bang. I think week one finished with just a bang. You, if you're the NFL, you couldn't ask for anything more. You just couldn't. No, I, I absolutely agree. Uh, Chiefs Browns was a a really fun game. Uh, Vikings Bengals was close. You know, winning overtime. Dolphins Pats seventeen uh, sixteen. Patriots were driving for a, a game winning touchdown. Fumbled the ball away. That, there was there was a lot of fun in in these games in week one. Uh, the most surprising outcome to you? This is this is the clear answer, and it's it's uh, Green Bay. That's uh, exactly what I wrote down as well. Saints thirty eight. That's the only, that's the only answer you can have. If you if you've never watched football before, and you spend one, if you just watched pregame Sunday, all the pregame shows, and that's the only football content you've ever absolved, and then you saw what happened to Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Nobody expected that. No, nobody on the planet expected that to happen. I I thought really like because I I thought that you might go with that one, so I wrote that one down. But also the Eagles winning in Atlanta, thirty-two to six, and Jalen Hurts looking like an absolutely legit NFL quarterback, uh, twenty-seven out of thirty-five. Oh, be careful! Be careful! Be careful! Be careful! Be careful! Jalen Hurts was thirty-two out of thirty-two quarterbacks that played this weekend in air yards. Okay. Jalen Hurts is dinking and dunking to athletes. Let's be careful before we just start saying he absolutely looks like an NFL quarterback. Okay. 66 okay. Six people could have done what Jalen did. Jalen's a good guy. I'm, 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 not, I'm not hating Jalen. So let's just be real careful we crown him, all right? I will say this. They put together an incredible game plan. Absolutely yeah, incredible game sure. plan. sure. They so. knew what he was good at, and they let him do that. Yes, the the beating that but they he, put. When I, saw, when I like, saw the air yards, because I was trying to figure out how the hell that game happened. And and it's just the Falcons are bad. Falcons are bad. Matt Ryan sucks. I don't know. I can't tell you what to do. Matt, Matt Ryan's just not good. At it. Falcons look awful. But <laughs> you're not the, wrong. The, well, how did the Eagles win? How did the Eagles score? How did this thing happen? He he had left here. I think he got. I don't remember. It, it's the it's the least amount of air yards that a quarterback has had in in two years. So like it just we 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 just don't see games like this. It's a, it's a game. At some point game. in time, he's going to have to throw the ball farther than six yards of pass. Yeah, no, I can I can see that. So A dot wasn't great, but they found a way to make it work. And and the Falcons, of course. Who good gracious. Next well, third question, last question. Who won the weekend? And and I have an answer that I don't know if you're gonna have. Who won the weekend? Uh I'm I, I I'm gonna tell you who won the weekend. Who won the weekend for me is Joseph Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. Okay. Because I didn't have a lot of expectations. Everything, every news report you had come out of camp was this team ain't ready. Joe's not ready. They're not going to look good. They, they're struggling. They, they, they don't look like they're all together. This is going to be a disaster season, another year of rebuilding. And they went out and they took a team who had nothing but positive things coming out of camp up until the last two weeks camp before the season started. And they whipped their ass. Kirk Cousins is, is not, not very good. At all, like it's it's so frustrating to see him play football. On top of that, I it, it, tell me, did you think it was a fumble at the end of that game? In what game? Uh, the the Vikings and in, in Bengals. Like the uh, man, I don't, I don't know. It didn't. It didn't know. look yeah. like it to me, but maybe uh, who knows? Either way, my my answer would be Tyrod Taylor. I think he won the weekend. The Texans get a 37-21 win over the Jags, and nobody expected this Houston team to be able to do much of anything. And they came out with a brilliant game plan against Urban Meyer and the Jags. Trevor Lawrence, three interceptions in the game, 
But Tyrod, 21 out of 33, 291 yards, two touchdowns, ran four times for 40 yards. Mark Ingram, old-ass Mark Ingram, 26 carries, 85 yards, one touchdown. Philip Lindsay looked good. Brandon Cooks, 132 yards receiving. Like, they they looked all right. They put, like, some old guys together and found a way to make it work. So I, I think it's the Texans because I don't know how many more wins this team is going to get, but they got one in week one. We were talking about them going 0-17. Well, yeah, no, they got one in week one, and and that that might be it. Yeah, yeah, it it really might be it. But I, that's why I'm. Gonna... I mean, they beat up on another bad team. I mean, it's just like two bad teams playing one another. Just because I didn't pick the bad team to beat the other bad team doesn't mean that that's shocking. These were obviously two of the three worst teams in the NFL before the season started, in yeah. everybody's opinion, right? Yeah, no, 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 and that, that's why I put them as uh, winning the week this week because it may be the only time I get to do it. <laughs> yeah, I like Tyrod Taylor. Like, I wish good things for him, man. He's he has no, been I, I do too. like the the way that he has lost some of these starting jobs in the past couple of years has just been brutal, right? He has been yeah. drafted over uh, three straight times. Like, uh, Josh Allen comes in, takes the Bills' job. He goes to to Cleveland, uh, gets hurt. Baker Mayfield takes the job, goes to the Chargers. Gets hurt, like and and that was not even his fault. Like it wouldn't, it, not that any of them were his fault. But my gosh, he gets a, a punctured lung because of a shot on the sideline, and then Justin Herbert never gives up the job again. Like, <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm I'm glad that he that he saw a little bit of success, and uh, and hopefully that will continue a little bit. It's not that I'm a huge Texans fan, but you know I'm hoping for good things for him. Open for good things. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.